Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Royce and Pedal Mel. Welcome to my channel. Uh, tonight's video is going to be checking out two new Christine cars from Auto World. These are both 164 scale die cast and I have them here. Uh, they say that they're uh, hobby exclusives, whatever that means. This is a charred burnt version and then I have the partial restored version and we will open them up and check them out and put them up next to all my other Christine cars and it should be pretty fun. All right, first up, we'll do the partially restored version of Christine. Um, this has been out for a little while now, but I finally just got around to order them. One guy had both of these on eBay really, really cheap for both of them with a uh, reasonable amount of shipping price. Um, anyway, so I finally jumped on these two Auto Worlds and here we get a closer look here. Just the packaging. Christine is one of my all time favorite movies. Uh, it's definitely right up there. I mean, I just love John Carpenter movies to begin with. And uh, this is probably one of my favorite movies of all time. Besides Goodfellas, of course, that's awesome. And but in car genre, this is um, top dog in my opinion. I mean, I like a lot of racing movies, but this is cool because it's like a car movie, and of course you have the suspense and um, you know horror and all that good stuff. All right, so we'll get started here. Always feels good to open these cars up. I mean. I have a lot of stuff that I kind of regret now. Um, I have a lot that are in the packs, but I think it's definitely more fun to be able to open them up and check them out. That's kind of how I was hoping the other would come off the card, but that's okay. All right, so here we have both versions up on the turntable. Looking pretty cool. And I just watched the movie last night, and the partially restored one is very, very accurate to the movie. It's even got the kind of cheesy, if you watch it in the movie, where they have the scratch. It's supposed to be a crack right here in the front windshield. It's pretty cheesy in the movie, but, um, I mean, it does not look like a real crack by any means in, in the movie, but... I just noticed there was something on the fender here. I don't know what it was, a blob of something that just it came off. So some of that frosted uh, matte clear just came off. It was globbed up right there. You might have seen it on the other shot. It's okay. It doesn't really matter because the car, it's not supposed to be perfect anyway. But So we'll, we'll take a look at each one here closer. So they, they do have a, the hood opens up. Or if you're not familiar with the auto world, they do have the rubber tires, full metal base body. It's pretty hefty. I think they're very, very detailed. I think I paid $6.95 a piece for these. Uh, they normally go for like $10 to $12, I think, online. But very, very, very detailed, I think. Look at the base of that. And I will compare the Hot Wheels version to these here in a, sh in a short bit of time uh, the charred one is supposed to look like after it runs over all the bullies and it comes back to Darnell's shop and it's smoldering and it's not bad um, brush strokes on the roof there look kind of cheesy but it's not bad it's speckled basically with an airbrush process that it appears to be but we know looking at the roof here this somebody by hand also stippled or something happened there on the roof it's got brush strokes but it's very very convincing i always wanted to make my own i was i have actually uh, 143rd scale when i was going to do a video of making a chart version and i don't even know if it's going to be worth it to bother you know bother to make one or not i was going to do that for the channel and uh but it's for the price i think these are just amazing uh the way they have the I don't know if it's Tampa or how they do the process of the 
rust and primer and flat paint very very impressive i think it's a tampo of some sort because it felt kind of like a, a decal or something here that peeled off i apologize my fingers are all busted up and uh but they let's see does this have the license plate yeah i guess it's just covered by the ash on there but they have the the license plate which is correct really really nicely done I mean you can't you can't beat these for the money so let me bring in the other Christine cars I have I may end up having to put put them on my larger turntable we have this is the the Hot Wheels one here let me back out some and you can see it's a much brighter red this this one's the Hot Wheels one it's definitely a brighter a brighter red and the, the Christine one which I assume Auto World did their homework on looks more like the correct it's a little bit more of a blood red uh, this is the evil version here this is also from Auto World let me get my larger turntable. I think that's going to, that'll help. So here is the fully unrestored as Arnie found it. Christine, that's also from our world. I just always loved how it even has the for sale sign in the back. A simulated gash in the side. Very, very impressive. Um, I got that maybe three or four years ago. I don't know, three years ago. Really, really cool. So we could probably put... Them in sequence here. We got the evil. We have charred, evil, partially restored, and unrestored. Christine from All World. And then Hot Wheels, Christine, and then Buddy Repperton's Camaro, which is also from Hot Wheels. So that is my Christine collection as of today, November 2020. And it's growing. I'm sure they're going to have more of them out. I would not doubt that at all. Um, I believe yeah, Johnny Lightning has a few out as well. One has like the garage building and there's the gas station. One where Christine smashed into the Camaro and they don't look too bad. I would be interested in picking some of those up just to compare them to the Auto Worlds because they look to me like the exact same car cast i mean they look to me like it's made of the same factory as these auto worlds but i'm not 100 percent sure on that but the auto world absolutely just blows away uh the hot wheels version which is this one right here i think i mean it it's not bad the hot wheels one but like most hot wheels are the way they proportion them to make them in a smaller scale, they usually end up kind of being a little on the goofy side. The evil one there with the black windows is just absolutely wicked. I think these, they look great in person. So there you go. Hope you guys like that. And I can't, I think it kind of, I drew it out longer than it should have been this video, but you get the idea. Um, all four of them from Auto World are great and are must-haves in my opinion. Then the Hot Wheels one's okay too. Just kind of cool just to have a Hot Wheels version. And Buddy's Camaro's not bad as well. Pretty cool. So there you go. Hope you guys like that. And if you like this type of video, be sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you're not a member, I remember, I don't know why I keep saying member. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe. It's free. You can't be free. And hit the bell for notifications. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs> that was really ridiculous. Oh, boy. All right. It helps wake me up, though, doing that. All right. I'll see you guys soon. All right. Bye now.